Okay, in part two of the theory of everything, uh, infinity proves that it controls all matter, all matter in space time, uh, based on the fact that you, if you look in the, we can see all the different uh, stars and galaxies form in circles. You see galaxies in circles. You see stars, circles, planets, circles. Okay, as I mentioned in the first uh, tape, infinity is consuming everything. It absorbs everything. It's we are inside an infinite circle that has a radius of infinity in every direction. No matter where you look. I mean, they they talk about in science about parallel universes basically stacked. Okay, in parallel. But think about it. If you see, you can see everything in a circle. We are living inside an infinite circle. It's a proof. It proves itself because you can see it. Because you know, if you run into a brick wall going in any direction in that radius point that you're going in, it's got to lead somewhere. So even if the universe is associated with the different parallels, you know that it has to be inside an infinite circle. That's why infinity is so powerful. It's an invisible force that absorbs everything. And also they talk about, scientists have noticed that, that they, they was thinking the universe was gonna was dying because they thought the light was slowly slowing down from all the stars. In the beginning of the universe, they thought the light was slowing down the forces of the celestial bodies, but they noticed that they're speeding up. The reason they're speeding up because infinity is absorbing all of this celestial energy, absorbing it back into its forces. It's pulsing at different points, celestial bodies causing other stars to form. But ultimately, when you get to understand infinity, it's a very complex but powerful force. Looking at the picture, you can see all the different celestial energies. You see, uh, you see a lot of different stars that are in forms of circles you can see galaxies in circles spiraling uh, back to the fact that the universe is inside an infinite force of infinity which is the theory of everything which is combining that's the combining force that's what bonds all of the different elements together because of the force of gra gravity gravity it, uh, it has an infinite point infinity is the highest form of gravity uh, in, in other words uh, what is the highest force of gravity? Gravity has the equilibrium force of infinity. It's based on the fact that, if, like I said, no matter where you are in space and time, each one of those stars are in the center of its own infinity point. So that means that no matter where you are, each individual on this planet is in the center of infinity. Every rock, every grain of sand is in the center of infinity. Is in the center of point of infinity because, as you know, uh, the equilibrium point as far as the radius from the center of a circle if you were to point in the center of a circle uh, equally uh, extends out so since infinity never ends and we're inside an infinite circle you know that every star and every particle no matter small or large is in the center of infinity that's how powerful infinity is and back to the fact that mirrors uh, create lasers remember light pulses out so perfectly because of the forces of a laser and remember the laser is based on the principle in of infinity because in order to create a laser it takes two mirrors facing each other one upstreet and one is slightly translucent to allow light to pulse out so where the light is pulsing from infinity because infinity absorb light instantly as soon as it hits the center of that mirror of infinity it's instantly there in infinity Okay, just to even get to the point to show you how powerful infinity is, remember, every laser that's even inside the computer chips, uh, the lasers is inside the laser pins, lasers are based on two mirrors facing each other and light pulse trapped inside of that, the center of those two mirrors, and one side is translucent where light can pulse out, one side is obscrete where light can't go through which is letting you know the side where the light goes to infinity on one side is bouncing back posting out the the translucent side in perfect order notice how how controlled light is by infinity infinity our lasers are controlled by infinity you we we we, we fail to realize that the laser depends on infinity that's what's controlling it infinity is a very complex 
force. It's very powerful, but yet very invisible and very visible. Okay, now back to the fact that infinity is the infinite circle that we are existing in as well. Uh, when you look at, uh, no matter which direction you look in the outer space, no matter what point on the planet you look, you, you notice that it's a circle. The, the universe is uh, that we are living in as far as the so-called bubble. There are infinite amount of bubbles in the universe because it's an infinite space. Space is infinite circle. It's an infinite circle. Because of the infinite circle, the one bubble that we are in, there are other bubbles of universes expanding, and they have equal space in between them because infinity allows for infinite space, so equilibrium takes place. Infinity is a very balanced but controlled, intelligent type of a force. It is actually an intelligent associated force. I'll get into that in the next tape.